Hello, this is Chip with WebVideoChefs.com. Let's talk about Sony XDCam. The first uh, non-linear editing system I want to show you my workflow is for Final Cut Pro. <clears throat> so the first thing is that we go to the Sony site and we're going to download the software. So we just did a search for XDCam and then I'm going to go under uh, Resources and then I'm going to go under Downloads. And then once I go to downloads, I'm going to software, downloads, applications, plugins. And so you don't have to do this. I put a, a um, link on our web page so you can go straight to this page right here called Final Cut, Cut Pro Ingest Plugins right there. You'll see that. And then you'll click on that. Download free of charge. You'll see all that stuff except the, all that good stuff. And you get that. Then there's something called a clip browser as well. Um, you don't have to have that, but um, I think that this the blog this is a browser software. You can you can have this um, this is a clip browser. So I'm going to show you the clip browser software, and then I'm going to show you my workflow. So first of all, let's look at XDCam clip browser software. I'm going to open that up. Once I open it up, I have some XDCam footage on my. Um, on my on a hard drive, so it's right under here. XD Cam, I'm going to chip A. Once I open that, I see all the clips here. I can mark in and out points, do all of that stuff on here. Um, let's just click on one of them real quick. Can you see? You see the gentleman talking here. You can you know do some things, set audio channels, capture still image if you want to your desktop. Um, if you want to just quick and quickly look at stuff, use the clip browser. Personally, I don't use it. Um, let me show you my workflow. So I'm just going to cl close that out. Then I'm going to open up Final Cut Pro and show you my workflow for uh, XD Cam. So once Final Cut Pro opens, what I do, I go up to Easy Setup, and I know that this was shot. Just so I know my frame rate was variable bit rate, um, 30 frames per second, Sony XD Cam HD, okay? I just know that, and I just set that up as just an easy setup, all right? Second thing I do, once I download that plugin, all I go is I go on File, Log, and Transfer, click on this button, well, it was already loaded, of course, but let's just say if, if this were, were not loaded, <laughs> so we will um, go through, and let's go and eject that disk real quick. So let's say if this were not loaded, I would go here, I'll go to my chip SD cam footage B, click on BPAV, then I would just hit open right in there, and once I hit open, it would add all of those clips to my workflow. And I can go back and click on chip C, go back up here, Sony XD cam, chip C, BPAV, always click on that, then you click on that, and then more are added. So you see more XD cam footage is added right there. Then I can hear him. Pass my curfew. I will leave the window open. But I okay. And I can do in and out points. I can tap the reel. And then I always set my capture scratch to where I want it to go. You know, my system settings. Set my capture scratch. And that's where all the footage would go. So let's just say if I wanted this to go right here. And go on that capture scratch. I'll just hit choose. Hit OK. And then an in and out point, I, and then I do an O. And then all I would do is just drag that down there. Chip C, and there it is. And then once I come here, I would have renamed it. I, it's just a custom name right now. I'm just going to minim minimize that. And then when I bring it in here, there he is. And my dad ran behind me. And then I can put that right on the timeline. Say yes. And I'm ready to... My dad ran behind and I'm ready to edit XD cam footage as easy as that. As 30 frames per second, compressor XD cam, XD, no rendering, anything like that. So I did login transfer right from the XD cam. Hope that helps.